welcome back to Season or Apron. Today is Motivational Monday. Okay, for Motivational Monday, I thought I would take you along today in my housewife life and just share with you some of the things that I've got accomplished today. We're gonna clean, we're gonna cook, and we're gonna clean some more. And you're gonna see some Halloween decorations in this video. And yes, I'll be sharing with you my Halloween house tour that will be coming up. I still have a couple of things I wanna finish for you and then you can see it. But pretty much my house is decorated for Halloween and it is so much fun. So I'm gonna share with you today what I got accomplished, which was a lot. <laughs> um, and so join me on our crazy fun day with lots of cleaning and yummy food. Time to pick up the homework station. If you'd like to see how I created this homework station, click on the link below. It's time to update the school binder. I also have a video on this as well. Click on the link below. But now that my kids are back in school uh, and at two different schools, it's time to update the binder and get all the current information in. That way when Derek and I are out of town or if he's home with the kids and I'm gone, if he needs any information about the school, times, bell schedules, the kids' classes, anything like that, it's all in there for everybody. And the binder is kept with, of course, the homework station. Instead of sweeping, I absolutely love vacuuming my floor. To me, it just seems like it does a better job. Sometimes I'll take out my microfiber mop pad and do that, but I just love my vacuum. And I got this vacuum at Costco. It's a shark vac. Day, I filmed myself dusting the blinds by my front door so I thought I'd add this in right here for you guys and of course I'm using my dust mitt from Norwex and I will leave a link down below for you Next I'm going to give my floors a quick mop and this is also with my Norwex mop. It's a microfiber pad, picks up everything off the floor and it's antibacterial. It's amazing. I'll, of course I'll leave a link to that as well.
I especially love vacuuming my kitchen. <laughs> oh my goodness, do I love it. Kids are just eating and doing their homework and I'm just cleaning around them. I don't mind one bit. I actually love cleaning when the kids are around me. I just, you know, they have their own chores. I have mine and I just love being with the family and doing my chores with them around. I don't feel so alone. giving the kitchen a quick quick mop this isn't a detailed mop it's just let's just get the floor a little cleaned and it dries up super fast so <laughs> it was no big deal with people around me because that mop is amazing the floor just dries very quickly so I wanted to do a quick mop Now I'm just planning my week in my planner and my planner is from InTheLeafyTreeTops.com It's the Mom on the Go planner or the Mormon Mom planner. And while I'm doing it, I'm Marco Poloing a friend. <laughs> and I have Derek next to me on the couch and he has his phone out telling me the boys football game schedule and lacrosse schedule so I can get it in my planner for the next two months. whiteboard that I keep on the side of the fridge and again I've said this before in my vlogs I don't necessarily will cook that meal on that day I just kind of spread them out and we can pick and choose what will work best for our schedule now I'm getting ready to make some homemade bread for the week I'm pulling out my wheat grinder and it's a vita meal so I am making my whole wheat bread and I do have a video on this and of course I'll link it below for you.
What I'm doing here is weighing my bread because this wheat recipe actually will fill up all the way to the top of my Pullman pans when it's cooked. And those are the pans you see there and I got them from Amazon and I will have a link for you below. So I have to measure out this recipe and make sure they're pretty much the same weight. That way they don't overflow and rise up and push those lids off. It happened one time. So I'm very careful. And for dinner, we're smoking up some pizza. We ended up doing two pizzas on the smoker, which is these two right here, the cheese and pepperoni that I'm working on. And the rest of the pizzas that I'm making, I'm doing in my oven in the house. So this is a homemade pizza sauce recipe that I got actually from Derek's uncle and it is so yummy and I'll leave a link to it down below for you so you can see how I made it on a previous video. And these cast iron pizza pans I actually put at Walmart. And I don't have an end result shot for you guys on this pizza because the kids scarfed it up so fast I didn't have time to take my camera out. <laughs> but right here I'm making a ricotta cheese pizza. It is so, so good. I don't know if I've ever done a video on it, but basically I rub some olive oil with garlic on the crust and then put a half a cup of this ricotta cheese on top. Then I added some sliced um, tomato and sprinkled some salt and pepper on top, cooked it in a 500 degree oven for six to seven minutes, and it is seriously amazing. And now it's time to clean up the pizza mess. It was a really great night. Derek's parents popped over, so they got to try the pizza, and we just hung out as a family, and it was just a load of fun. joining me today I hope that motivated you in some way uh, yeah leave any comments below what is your favorite homemade pizza or bread recipe I would love to know if you haven't already don't forget to click my face up above to subscribe and check out these videos over here especially that motivational Monday playlist thanks for joining me we'll see you soon bye